Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's get it on. We've got more Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen. <laughs> Thanks for coming back and watching the channel more. We're game on. I'm lucky. Let's get it on. Some dragon. So, Give we just went and did that mission where we got Salamence Grimoire. We turned it back into our long-haired buddy over there because it's going to pay dividends later on. Um, now we're going to go ahead and do the main quest of uh, figuring out what this cult of salvation is. I think the first thing we have to do is we have to go and find Mason, who I believe is in the sewers slash slums slash aqueduct section right over here. That's why it's a red circle, but it's lightly shaded because <clears throat> it means it's on a different level than you're at. We're above him and we've got to go underground to get to him. But it's really easy. So uh, we're in a little bit different position than I left you guys because I went and upgraded all the weapons I could here at Caxton's Armory. Then I went over here and bought a bunch of mushrooms and green warish. Then I went over here and stashed all the items, and that was pretty much it. I just want to take care of that stuff off screen because I just we're going to do that so many times. I feel like it's just uh, <clears throat> monotonous and repetitive to keep putting that up for you guys. I did figure something else out though. I was just fiddling around and I jumped up here on this fountain. Ah. Which, I don't know if you can do it with just a single jump. Oh yeah, you can. There was three gold pouches up here. Two uh, large pouches and one small. So it was 3,500, 3,500, and 500. And so that was about 7,500 gold. Um, just sitting on top of this if you guys need any more gold. So, let's put our headphones on. We're going to go find Mason here. Let's see what's going on. I wonder if this will have anything to do with that hooded figure. Hey, Fornival, I wanted to talk to you about the family you're trying to evict. Let's talk to him for a minute. What of the eviction? Any rarities to sell? Any he always asks for rarities, sell. and I don't understand what that's about. It's something very specific. Nice, he's got another wakestone shard. You always want to check up on him because as you progress through the main story, he'll gain more and replenish his inventory on those. Usually just have Any one at a time. To sell. Right then. Let's go talk to that father of the family and see if we can uh, complete this quest really quick. Someone must need something That's the wife. Matter. We talked to her Someone already. Around. Let's talk to the Whoa. father. Whoops. Hey, buddy. Yes. How may I? We pay tariff on Hornival's land. Oh. Once us gone, does he? I wager it's not so simple a proposition as all that. I know Fornival's the law on his side, but I'm loath to simply up and go at his command. Oh, well, I it's totally a get it. decision, sir, and not one I'd make alone. I have a wife and son. They should get word of this afore all else. They're off about the town, though where I don't know. Perhaps you could find them and explain the matter? I would hear their thoughts ere I make any decision. No doubt you were filled with fear and awe, with trepidation. So his wife... Where'd she go? Did I just see his wife? Where'd you go, wifey? Among you has no seen the dragon. About this matter. Who saw it Let's raise a village huh. at the southern shore? <clears throat> so most of the main NPCs no will be kind of putting around either the castle gate or up here in the main square somewhere. There she is. I am my husband's wife in all things. Pray. Tell him I will follow whatever path he chooses. Okay, so she's gonna do what her husband wants. He's gonna do what his family wants. Where's the boy? <clears throat> we were jumping on a rooftop at one point earlier. And we saw that boy and he ran off again. He was way over there on that rooftop that's got the chimney smoking on it. And he ran off. So, I wonder where he is now. Okay, I wonder if we can put that quest on our map as our main quest. Ah. Ah. So that... No, that's uh, the father. That's the mother. Where's the son? Boy, where are you? Well, I guess maybe they're not going to show us where he is, because we have to find him. <clears throat> okay. Let's go over here and see if that changes, I guess. Maybe that's the boy. Let's speak with him. Whoop, jeez, I didn't want to do that. Uh-oh. And that looked like under the bridge, right above the aqueduct. So I'm loving the daggers. We've got our armor and everything like that. 
I'd like a nicer bow. It's kind of plain Jane, I think. I need to get a good staff, too. Oh, this might be the boy. Because the wife was hanging out at the square. Yeah, and this hasn't changed at all, so. We'll be easier going, searching Hello. Oh, I almost got him there. <clears throat> oh, okay, we gotta grab him physically. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, boy. Come here. Ah, oh, look at that. Ah, this is hard. What are you doing? Come here. Don't fall off. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. You scared me, Pip. This is hard. Yeah. Really? Oh. Gotcha. You don't give up, do you? And I was taught that Arisen were friends of the weak. Oh, what does it matter? Even I can, and any who cross border will find work hard to come by. And father isn't like to stand against one so powerful. What choice do we have? Well, so be it. I dare say I won't miss that pigsty of a home beside. Now, if there's nothing else, pray leave me be. We've secured the consent. Let's Sarah keep the chance. <gasps> what good or reason if not to help? Don't worry. I think there's a way we can help everybody here. <clears throat> Let's go talk to Fornival. Before we evict these people. If I can find him again. <laughs> There's the waifu. Let's talk to her one more time, see if she says anything different. I am my husband. No, same thing. Phony Bolu. What are you? It's Madeline. Who among you has seen the dragon? Who's <clears throat> I don't think he's gonna be home. I think he's gonna be walking around. But we'll go check his home anyways. Ladies in here. Or of all. It's not here. Well met, sir. Well, thank you. <clears throat> We're gonna go back the way we came because he's usually on this path. And then we'll go and walk the city. I don't know what we need to do is just rest at the end, guys. I'm silly. Instead of doing this, we'll just rest until night, and then we will go up and talk to him at his house, because he'll be there at night. Because I don't want to talk to the father about them leaving until I talk to Fornival one more time. Oh, the Arisen has appeared! Yeah, not that. <laughs> I feel you see, have your pick. What will it be today? Understood. <laughs> Here we can rest, manage inventory and skills, and so on. Oops. Okay, it's night time. Go see what Fondival has to say. Well, I trust. I really like how they get the aspects of night and day really well. Like when it's dark, it's dark. It's quiet, everything's stronger. You're a little bit worried. You get off the beaten path, everything gets even stronger. Is this him? No, those are just night paladins. The salutations. The way they got the lighting right and the shading, shadowing. Oh, really? Okay, so we gotta wait till morning. No, there he is. Perfect. Bone of all. Speak to these people. The hour is nigh. How goes your intervention? In truth, I'd hope to have the matter settled by now. However, as I have your ear, perhaps you, Arisen, would purchase the land in question. Such a thing would allow your mediation to continue apace, yet free me from further obligation. What say you? I shall, of course, require your payment in full. 
Okay, so we're gonna buy the land, and then we'll go talk to the family and let them live there. Listen, I knew you of all people would understand my plight. Your plight. Yeah, the money needs more now money. Now my obligations are fulfilled, and the tenants need not quit the land. I pray this is but the beginning of a long and prosperous partnership between you and I. I actually like him. Any rarities to sell? For the most part. Any rarities to sell? No, I don't, sir. But eventually I will sell you some armor and whatnot. Any rarities to sell? Right then. <clears throat> okay, cool. We got 5,000 experience for that. <laughs> now we're gonna go talk to the family. Oh, even though it says complete. Maybe we'll get some kind of reward from them. But yeah, that's kind of like the pacifist way or the positive way to solve that quest. You go talk to the family about leaving, then it activates that um, <clears throat> ability where you can just pay for the land right there and they can stay there. But it does cost 80000 so it's expensive. But like I showed you guys in the very second episode of this series, how to break the game by selling that one item. You'll have plenty of gold to do it. I feel you still have your pick. What will it be today? We still have Understood. more than half the money we started with, so. And we're probably a third of the way through the game. So like I said, that money usually lasts me about halfway through the game. But I'm not even trying to like grind anything or really sell anything. I'm just keeping everything, so I'm not even looking for gold pouches to be honest. Yeah. Oh, it's not over here. Let's go check their little farmstead. Even though I know that was mission complete, so there's nothing else to do with it, but... So Their house is this one over here. Hmm. They're not here. Okay, whatever. Quest is done, moving on. So I was looking at pawns in the rift earlier. I saw a pawn that cost 6.7 million rift crystals. I don't know how you would ever get that many rift crystals. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I think I had like 70 or something like that in the last playthrough. But 6.7 million? That's just ridiculous. So, that's how we do the Evict Family Fornival quest, guys. Now. Let's move on to back to the main story here. Mason is down here. Ah, sorry. Come down here, take a lap. They call this the slums. I, I call it the aqueduct because it's, it's an aqueduct here. But regardless, the city sewers. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's one thing. You can't double jump your way out of fall damage. <laughs> I keep trying to do it in hopes that it'll work, but it doesn't. Although that double jump is probably the coolest move in the game that I've had yet. Hello, Mr. Mason. Looking for me, friend. Bearing good tidings, I hope. Else here to put me in chains, I'll wager. <laughs> no. It's salvation brings you here, eh? I've had cause to ask the good folk of Grand Sorin about salvation myself. Seems I'm cursed with a villain's mean, though. One look at my face, stole the man's tongue dead. Had I your gentle manner, I'd have been <coughs> singing long and loud, no doubt. Seems to me we share a common goal. Perhaps you'd take on my investigation. Yep. Ah, that's grand. Here, take this with you. Quest now. That token I gave is a countersign. It will mark you as friend to agents of salvation. Mayhap loosen their tongues as well. I hope you'll return to share your findings, good or reason. Seems that many people live here as well. I'm certain Cyrus knows something. Those without a trade or the means to earn a wage live here. We'll like here more. Cyrus. Talk okay, so we gotta house. find this guy Cyrus. He's obviously up in the upper area here because. See the marks up there. <clears throat> I don't really remember any of this. <laughs> oh my guys just fell on me. 
Wadib. Still got his little outfit on. I shall restore your health. Hold on. Now we've got to kind of eavesdrop on conversations and find these little nooks where the salvation guys are hanging out. But they'll do it at different times. I think they come down here at night under the bridge for one of them. Can't remember. Yeah, the urban quarter. Go over here to this guy first. It's right there. Hello, sir. The gatherings to take place down in the catacombs, I hear. You'll not find me there. It's far too dangerous a place to brave for a night's diversion. I need quest knowledge. He said the catacomb entrance stands to the northwest. Okay, that's pretty easy. So where's the catacomb entrance? Ah. The, oh my gosh, it's all the way over there. Okay. Wow. So we gotta go up there, guys, but we're... We've already got our mushrooms and our potent green water, so we can just head right out. Um, question is, is it closer from Hillfigure Knoll? It's probably safer from here, though. Even though that might be a little bit closer, it's, the enemies are probably stronger up there. So we're just going to head out. We're going to wait till morning so we can get a full day. Then we're going to head right out. <laughs> no, I fear. You still have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Yeah, we have spent almost half our money, though. I'd expect, I, know, I didn't uh, last playthrough buy $80,000 worth of land. <laughs> but that's okay. It doesn't matter. We can get as much gold as we need. This game provides plenty. <clears throat> so I don't have any more port crystals, though. So if we get out there and we get like trapped or something like that, or we get in a rough spot, we're going to have to travel all the way back if we fast travel back to Grand Soren. And we have found two griffins. We haven't found the Hydra yet. But there was a griffin in the southern region that we didn't defeat. <clears throat> and there was a griffin out here in Grand Soren that attacked us right outside this the gate. And he flew the off to the northern region. The mild weather so I hope at some point we run back into both of those. As well as the Hydra. I've heard this and that about the Hydra fighting in this game, and I've never found it. This road will deliver us to the catacombs. I found plenty of dragons, plenty of other things. Bitter Black Isle, that'll be quite an adventure, guys, when we do that. Cross country. This way to the catacombs. Yep. Pretty much dodged all the bandits by doing that. That's pretty good. Usually got to fight one group or two going through there at least. <clears throat> I wish you could do this while running. Like you could just like open up a little side menu. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! All right, let's get it on, buddy. Let's hope I don't that. Especially when he swings us around like a rag doll. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Do not let him fly away. Do not let him fly away. Hmm. There you go. Now, while he's on the ground, dice him up. Come on. There you go. Really good. See if we can stack and lock him here on the ground. Come on, guys, hit him with something. Get him with something while he's on the ground. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Do it again. That one's huge. See, it's high cost education, or whatever that is. High cost education. High cost education. Whatever the fireball damage one is, it is early in this game. There you go. 
There we go. We got him, guys. We got him, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. As soon as he starts getting up, we're going to get on him again. That's it. Give him another firewall. See, that firewall is the high cost mission. I can't even say it right. There we go. Come on. Dice him up. Dice him up, guys. I'm gonna get down. Alright, come on, stop getting weak now. Oh, whoa, what the hell? That ox knocked me off. You see that? I just wanna make sure I stay on him. later because there's only a few griffins um, in the whole game so we really need to hold on to those don't sell them we got the griffin pinion times two and we got the great griffin claw Whew, well okay <laughs> right out the gate we've got some action so I wonder if that's why the bandits weren't around because I thought it was weird that there were no bandits right there but maybe that's a sign if there's no bandits around you're gonna get hit by that griffin outside the gate and so that's last playthrough, I actually beat him out at the, there's a tower at the end of the game um, that you go to, and I beat him out there at the Griffin's, ro uh, Griffin's Roost. I'm not going to tell you where that is or anything else about it, but I've never beaten him outside the castle gate like that. Yeah, yeah, I gobble this. Oh. I brought you fire's blaze. Take my fire! We <laughs> yeah, one little goblin. After we just fought that. After we just fought that griffin, please. We're feeling on top of the world. Yeah, and I bought a hundred mushrooms this time. Oh yeah, wolves. What's down here in this gully? Bottle case. It takes fire! Oh, these guys don't stand a chance. I just let my guys have at them while I look around, check stuff out. It's funny to me, this rock model, <laughs> they use this <laughs> They use this one a lot in the game. Where it'll be like this little crevice right here. I see it all the time. <laughs> They're just blasting. That's the reason why I like mages. They're like the most powerful in the game. So I've got three mages, which is really what I like to rock. I like to rock three mages, and then I like to get in there and do the dirty work myself. <clears throat> the only thing I don't like is I really wish that you could select which moves specifically they do, almost like Final Fantasy uh, turn-based, but then I guess it wouldn't be a unique. <laughs> Where they kind of develop their own tendencies based on how you like to fight and the way they re react and reinforce you. I think I want to go down here and fight the Saurons. Saurians. Shit, I'm gonna have to cross the road over here. Strength in numbers arisen. The road splits here. Let's be doubly sure of which will see us to our destination. Strangely, 
Harp Spudge use. Perfect. I hear your words. Oh, what's all this? <laughs> Coin pouch, okay. We'll take a little coin pouch. Coin to Reno. I mean, what happens if we go all the way up the river here? Let's check out. We can mess up river. Didn't realize it was shallow enough for us to walk. I think we saw the Saurians right over there. Monsters arisen. Yeah, Adios, well, sir. go ahead and you guys get after him while I look around. I want to see what's under this waterfall. I bet you there's a, tre a treasure chest if I can get to it. If not, at least we'll know, right, guys? Nameless Falls. Well, it's got a name. So, what does that mean if it's got a name? Nah, see, it's too bright. Too deep now. Huh. Get the hell out of the bunny. Come on. No. Get off me. Okay. Can't go up river. We're gonna go back down river. Can't resist, guys. A little bit OP. Let's just sit over here and blast them with magic and arrows, guys. Oh, you guys just have a chance. Hey, buddy. Great in numbers. Yep. Mr. Garcher's badass, guys. For sure. I grant you fire's blaze! Thank you! <laughs> Wet. Slow down. Lack of stamina, come on. We can light forward the river across these stones. Wish I could just scale up there somewhere. But, unfortunately, I think we gotta go all the way down here and hit this bridge. Those rocks jump out of the river. Or go all the way back up where we were, but I think that takes us to a different area. I think this is gonna take us closer to where we need to go in the end. Let's seek out the shallows, lest we lure the blind. Wonder what the brine is all about. I've never found out what the brine is about. Other than stay the hell out of the water. <laughs> But I mean, we eat the fish that come out of the water. So the water's not poisoned, right? It's some kind of magic is what it is. Okay, so that was the round, long roundabout way of going and doing that. Now we're over on the other side here. The red splits off. Let's be doubly sure of which will see us to our destination. Well, my mini map will see us to our destination. That's, that's what's going to do it. Wasted a lot of daylight, I feel like, though. But I am glad I checked up there at the waterfall base. So I've already used 40 mushrooms on this journey. Each different combination of allies Hello. has its own tactics for battle. How do they? Oof. I hear something. I hear something growling. Oh. You. They're fire sorry. Alright, let's get these guys here. Oh, they're invisible too. I can still see you. That's when I light you up. Hello. Rock me. 
Oh wait, never mind. Anyways, whatever. It's good to give your pawns healing items, because they'll actually use them and they'll last a lot longer, they won't die fast. <laughs> with the slow motion. Oh, I've got slow on or something like that. There we go. These guys are way stronger than the other ones. I don't know. I think the lock-on shouldn't work if they're invisible. when they stack fire damage. I'm pretty sure you can stack that fire damage. We got a yellow poison sack, okay. We're still building up our surplus of craftable, so I'm willing to lift, I'm willing to carry a whole bunch of stuff up to being extra heavy or whatever the top heavy encumbrance is. What's going on down there? Oh, that's a goblin. Hello. Sniper. Oh. Goblin. Let's <laughs> around the back. Hello. It's fun just shooting him from up here. Feels so powerful. The first strike shall be mine. Their kind hates ice and fire both. Been attacked. What is circle? I forget. Flames are well against the front of the Uh, are you gonna shoot it or what? Oh, I think that was a for lighting up the night. We're gonna use that when it gets to be night, guys. I've never used that before. It didn't really do any damage to him, I don't think. A hobgoblin arisen. I know. Be wary. I got him. Don't worry, guys. Oh, whoops. I messed up. Did he fall or what? That was so funny. No, she hit him with something. Okay. The numbers are risen. Enough of all this. Get it. All right, guys. We're just going to end the episode here. When we continue, we'll continue on to the catacombs and the main story. That was weird. I got locked there for a minute. All right. Back to the main road. I appreciate you guys watching this Let's Play. Uh, we're getting excited for Dragon's Dogma 2. Can't wait for it to come out. Uh, I'm Lucky, the channel's game on. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.